Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have with me a very heavy breather. <laughs> this is Landon, my fiance. Hi guys. All right guys, for the purposes of vanity, I'm taking my glasses off and trusting that this guy will keep everything in focus. Yep. So we already recorded this video once before, but everything ended up being out of focus. I don't know what you're talking about. So we're going to do it again. And what this is, is a, it's a holiday gift guide for men, for the guys in your life, or whoever you think would like this stuff. So we're going to go from least expensive to most expensive gifts, just to accommodate for different budgets that you may have. I think uh, the cheapest thing that we have here is... Yes. Master look. This is a... Uh... This is a uh, bobblehead by uh, Funko, Funko? Pop. Funko, Funko Pop. Funko Pop. And uh, so if you've not seen them, they have the vinyl pop figurines in every style. Bobbleheads, stationary. Um, well, and they have them for every kind of different show movie that's popular. There's Suicide Squad ones, there's um, Orange is the New Black, Star Wars, Disney ones, all mm -hmm. sorts of different characters. So you can buy them and these range anywhere from um, $8 to $15 depending on how hard to get or how rare the design is. But this one was about $8. So mm -hmm. it's a pretty inexpensive gift to give to someone and it's really cute. Yeah, Good for an office, bedside table. Nice to have someone staring at you disapprovingly. No, Luke disapproves. <laughs> and then the next thing is something that Lena has actually gifted me a couple of times before. And this is the Demeter Fragrance Library Room Sprays. So Lena knows a lot more about it yeah. than I do. So this one is in Thunderstorm, but they come in room sprays, they come in diffusers, um, they come in... They come in colognes, perfumes, um, and you can get them in any number of scents. Uh, the fragrance library has, um, what do they have? Tomato, dirt, grass, like everything. They tobacco. Have, they have normal ones like um, vanilla, tobacco, lavender kind of stuff. But, mm -hmm. but then they also have weird ones like Petrichor is one of them. Mm -hmm. um, funeral, funeral home. home, which just smells like baby's breath. There's a Play-Doh one. There's all sorts of things for like those weird nostalgic scents that you might want to get. I think they have crayon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have Crayola crayons and all sorts of stuff. So it's a really great present and I think these go from, depending on the, what size of room spray you get, from what, like 15 to 25 about? Yeah, it, it just depends. Yeah, we'll put the <laughs> price range in the description below so you guys can see all of them. And then, this is kind of like the last item in the affordable range. <laughs> This is the Think Geek Death Star Bluetooth radio. And this is something that I gave Landon mm -hmm. just recently. Um, I believe this one cost me from either $35 or $40. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the end of the spectrum for affordable gifts. But this thing is so bomb. Like It's loud. It's bomb. Like, yeah. But um, it's not just Bluetooth. It's also got an auxiliary port on it. Um, it lights up when you turn it on, makes a little noise at some point. There it goes. That's no moon. <laughs> it's a space station. That's a fully operational battle station. But uh, this will <laughs> fill up. This will fill up an entire room with sound. I mean, this thing is with like some despair. Two, two to three times as loud as my laptop on full volume. Like, mm -hmm. This thing is a little musical powerhouse. It's yeah, really it's great. like you could use it for parties, and it would be way more than like it would be totally loud enough yeah to fill it would up be good enough for a just party. just this for for a good get together yeah. yeah which is kind of insane when you consider how small this is like mm -hmm. oh, you're getting and closer. so you can yeah i'm just trying to like show a little bit of detail so the little curve of the death star is the speaker and you've got all sorts of like cutesy little designs it's all filled with stormtroopers that are gonna die see Morbid. there's the auxiliary port comes with a little stand Okay, and we're quickly losing light, so we're going <laughs> to go through this kind of quickly. Uh, the next one is actually, I think, Landon's favorite scent that I've ever <laughs> given him. And when you start off with a boyfriend <laughs> or you start getting gifts for the men in your life, I think it's a really easy thing to go for cologne. 
just because, mm -hmm. you know, it's a gift for you and it's a gift for me. Yeah, right. And it's a gift for that little old lady at Sprouts the other day that stopped Landon and said, Ooh, someone smells good. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's Landon. And she goes, Oh, lucky you then. Oh, God. <laughs> It was so, awkward. If you want so. little ladies to have raunchy fantasies about you, the scent is. Uh, this is Sauvage by Dior. Sauvage by Dior. And um, you sum it up best. As. Um, and, and how it smells. Woodsy hot guy. Woodsy hot guy. Yes. Like. You sent them off to chop wood for your mm -hmm. fireplace, and he came back like Tom Hardy. <coughs> like, yes, please. Uh huh. It's very good. I'll put the official scent notes in the description bar in case you're interested. But as far as I'm concerned, if you want your guy to smell like a hot guy, this is the scent. And I think this bottle retails for about $80. Yeah, I think so. And then it mm -hmm. gets more expensive the larger size you buy. But he's had this for a good six months. Yeah. And this is as far as he's gone. Mm -hmm. So that's a good one. The next one is kind of a set. Right. It's a Mont Blanc gift set that comes with a cologne and an aftershave. Yep. So cologne and aftershave. And what would this one... What does this one smell like, would I you think, say? I don't know, this one smells like a business hot guy. Business hot guy? Like Christian Grey without the emotional abuse. Right. Or physical abuse. Or the psychotic mommy issues that will inevitably lead to murder. Like, honestly, I'm surprised the book didn't start up with, like, him killing a hooker. I, right. Like, this... Seriously, like, every <laughs> single episode of Criminal Minds, it's like, oh, he's killing women that resemble his mother and then mm -hmm. at the end of the Fifty Shades series it's like oh it's because I like to hurt women that resemble my mother like yeah right now this is um this is like a wood scent kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. like a sandalwood. sandalwood yeah it's a bit of a darker Mont Blanc is a much more woodsy scent and it's very heavy so it's probably best for winter time mm -hmm. like right now yep yeah so the aftershave is alcohol based so I mean it kind of ties into the next I put my lashes like way too high up <laughs> on my fine. lid I yeah. can like feel them You're fine. okay which kind of ties into our next um, present and this is by far the most expensive one right. on your list so really think before you give it like what has this person done for you <laughs> in the past like give it to your father give it to your grandfather don't give it to the guy you've been dating for six months I mean, it took you four years to get this present from me. Hi, peachy girl. Hi, honey bun. Making a surprise oh. appearance. Thank hi. you for the kisses. Oh, yeah. oh thank you. Okay. Oh, kisses for me. Thank you. Okay, Landon can explain this one a lot better than I can, so yep. I'm going to let him. So this uh, next one is a full set uh, from The Art of Shaving. Can you? Yeah, I'll focus. Focus it. So this, I, the first product in the set is the pre-shave oil. Uh, apply it to a warm face. Yeah, there it goes. So you uh, would apply it to a uh, warm face and uh, it basically preps the face for shaving. And it's great because I know a lot of guys have uh, issues with razor burn, etc. and the oil itself just the oil will eliminate most of that. And it helps kind of the blades glide a little better, right? right? Yeah. A lot better, honestly. Um, <laughs> and then the next part of the set is the shaving cream itself. Uh, this is, most shaving creams, uh, especially aerosol shaving creams, are alcohol based. Uh, this is not, this is a lotion base. And so it's great for sensitive skin. Yeah, okay, right there. So, um, use a dime size amount for each use, and it lasts absolutely forever. And uh, along with that is the Art of Shaving brush, and uh, each set, uh, you can get the brush separately. It's a, uh, it's a badger hair, and it's actually really good for exfoliation as well. Great. Yeah. 
Oh, and then we were talking about the the uh, gift before. So when we were talking about the Mont Blanc and how it has an aftershave that's alcohol based, that's uh, because this is an aftershave balm that is can you, that is basically a uh, it's basically a lotion, and this basically eliminates all razor burn and uh, helps the skin heal after shaving. So it's like following up with a moisturizer rather than just alcohol, right. which some guys might not be sensitive to, but I know Landon would get a lot of razor burn, especially in the neck right. area, a lot of razor burn irritation, like little bumps. Mm -hmm. And this has reduced that like drastically. Mm -hmm. And this whole set altogether costs about $200, right? Yeah, it's... Plus, it's... yeah, plus about 75 for the badger brush. But I know for a fact that Ulta and Sephora sell them in many sizes, which is mm -hmm. what we did. Um, we got Landon the full set when we tried it out during a trip to Vegas. Mm -hmm. We went to the boutique and we tried it out. He loved it. We got the whole thing. And then um, I really wanted to share it with my dad. So what we did for my dad is we got him the tiny little set that cost about $60 or 30 I think, it, I think it's 60 $60 maybe? Yeah. yeah, it's on Ulta and Sephora, and it's a mini size with the shaving cream, the oil, and the balm. And I think some of them come with a tiny little badger hairbrush. And that way he could try it, and he liked it so much that one day he just came home from work with the full set. <laughs> like He's like, I liked it, so I got it. Yep. And it's a really great gift for guys that have a, a full beard like this, because obviously you need to take care of it, you need to groom it, um, depending on where you're going, you need to shave it, you need mm -hmm. to trim it. And beard care, honestly, is just as important as skin care for women and men. Right. It's a really great gift to give if, if, you, if the guy in your life is kind of really into his looks. And, oh, oh, thanks. You're welcome. Or just like wants to, you want to like give him something nice and kind mm -hmm. of luxurious for, for his beard. Right. And, the, and since it lasts so long, the mini set is definitely mm -hmm. a great gift. Like the especially mini, for the price. Yeah, the mini set will definitely tide you over for like four or five months. At least. Easy, because yeah. Lennon has had this for about five months and he hasn't even made a dent in it no, whatsoever. Not and really. look at this. Yeah. That's a pretty lumberjacky beard when it grows out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a really great gift. And I think that's about it. <laughs> so that's it. This is my goofball of a fiance and thank you for coming on my video. Oh. Oh hi. Hi. This is, okay. This is very edible. Edible. I was not going for that. I was going for a, a head bump. Head bump. Boom. Not edible. Not edible. Yay. Boom. So, yeah. If you guys like him, you'll be seeing him in a lot more of my videos. If you don't, I'll get rid of him. From the videos. I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe um, if you want to see more videos from me. <laughs> and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye. Bye.